Hello, my name is Victoria and you're watching Plantastics. Today we're going to be doing some propagation with some cane begonias. So before I show you how to cut and prop, I'm going to introduce you to some of my begonias that are in, like, they have canes. So here is Cecile Sophie. It's silver splashes on the leaves. There are these really kind of jagged edges underneath is a pinkish color with green veining. Here's a newer leaf. It's got some really pretty silver on there, if you can see that. So there's Cecile, Cecile Sophie right here. And next is Looking Glass, and it is the majority of the leaves are silver with the exception of the veins. And it is just, it's just so pretty. Both of these um, begonias I got actually as cuttings. You can see the little leaves coming out underneath is a pink, is a darker color than the last one. So this one's, um, try not to pick favorites, but it's, it's definitely up there. And then I have two polka dot begonias to show you. Here is Fanny Mosier. And this one is kind of cool because the all of the leaves seem like they they fit together kind of like angel wings which is kind of different from these these seem to be kind of more individualized um, and these as well they kind of just grow as individual leaves and all of these can get really really large if you give them the right conditions there's this lady in my neighborhood and she has um looking glass and it is literally huge so here is Fanny Mosier. It's got silver polka dots and the backs of the leaves are this really, really dark color. And this is actually a cutting with some pretty nice roots so far. And then this one's really, really popular, very Instagrammable. I think these are as well, but these just um, haven't, you know, gotten enough, you know, attention to be as popular. But this one is the Begonia Maculata. I think that's it. Um, yeah, so here is that, the polka dot plant, um, and it's really nice. So you've got, or one of your friends has one of these plants and they want to share a cutting with you. So what they're going to do is they're going to cut somewhere, so you can see these lines. So you just want to cut underneath one of those lines and you really want to have at least one leaf so it can have some form of energy to try to put out new roots. So here's one, the Fanny Mosier. So I actually bought seven of these in big quart size containers and I have them in a border and they're just huge. Like they really love, they're in full shade and they're outside. Um, so I took a cutting and these are the roots on it. So you can see pretty much there's not one specific place where they're coming out. There are these little white um, places on the stalks underneath the nodes and every one of those has the potential to basically form a root. So here you can see where I cut it was in between those two lines. So that way, whoa, I dropped it almost. Um, that way there's some chance of roots coming out. So that's that one. And this next one, I'm just gonna attach a photo to so you can see um, the roots. This one hasn't actually been in water for very long. This is the Cecile Sophie, and I just took a top cutting out because I want this plant to be fuller, you know, once it gets going. So you can see these little knots forming, and it's only been in the water for like three or four days. This Fanny Mosier has actually been in the water for two weeks. That's why it's so much further along than this one. But I wanted you to see kind of what it, what it looks like whenever it starts. Because I can understand whenever you are propagating, you can kind of get impatient. So it's good to see whenever things are going well. So this little knot right here is a root. And you can see another one forming here. So um, roots are gonna come out all along the sides, just like I showed you on that Fanny Mosier. And what you want in terms of lighting requirements is you really want it to be close to a grow light or close to a window. 
but you want the window to have morning sun. You do not want it to be blasted with like afternoon sun because it's just really strong. So you could put it there or you could put it like in your kitchen window um, if it's warm. You don't want them, they don't do well with cold. So you want it to be either under a grow light or in the window. If you've got a back porch that's shaded, like that's where basically all of my begonias go in the summertime so they can put on some new growth. They just love being outside. So my shaded area doesn't get where they're at, doesn't get any direct sun whatsoever. So they're basically just getting, you know, shade is bouncing and lights bouncing up from the concrete and from the grass basically in there. So they really like shade, but you don't want to put it like in a dark corner in your room. If fluorescence or lights are the only source and they're not grow lights, it's probably not going to produce the roots or the growth that you want at the rate that you want. So I hope that that gives you something to go off of if you are propagating cane begonias. Um, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. Okay, goodbye.